Sapphire 10 is probably the most significant update to date. And we are here today to guide you through getting started from scratch. If you are an existing Spotfire user, you will notice the complete redesign of the user interface. It is still as easy as a couple clicks to dive into your data. We have a wide range of connectors ready to go. Today we will use a few text files and a shape file. We can easily import all of the files at once. And as, as we review the data, we can make any changes to data types. But Spotfire is very smart on doing that for you. The data files include sales and geography data. Let's start exploring by using the new search feature that utilizes natural language processing. Let's search for profit by subcategory. We immediately can tell that our refrigerator profits are not up to par. Let's explore this further by creating a drill down in the form of a waterfall chart. Right off the bat, we notice there are some data integrity issues. As there are two regions for the Southwest, we can group these into one category. Reviewing the waterfall chart, it's pretty apparent that the Northeast region is deep in the red for the refrigerators. Let's add some labels to get a better idea of the numbers. We will create another drill down, this time into a scatter plot to see what cities are responsible. We can easily drag and drop the different visualizations for better viewing. Spotfire 10 automatically realized there were data relationships in the different data files that we imported. This allows us to show the cost of goods in this visualization even though it is from a different table. Then by marking by a city we see that Philadelphia is losing a lot of money on the cost of goods for refrigerators. Let's dive deeper and see what the Spotfire recommendation engine suggests. A map chart is a great idea. Let's add a layer from the distribution center's data table and another layer from the routes data table. As easy as that, we mix and match data from three different data tables in one map chart visualization. By adding the properties of the different layers, we can make this much more consumable. We don't need size by for the distribution centers. We would like to shape by the star shape. We can also add some meaningful color. Next, by editing the routes layer, we will change the feature by to key. This allows us to color the routes from a column from the other data table, the distribution states. Looking at the routes, we can use better contrast. On the fly, we can edit the theme of the dashboard to dark. Much better. Let's take a look on what is going on in Philadelphia. What well, appears Philadelphia is receiving refrigerators from a distribution center all the way in Georgia. That is definitely the cause of the cost of goods being so high. We can easily leave a note to collaborate and point this out to the supply chain analyst. <music>